GeoGebra is an interactive geometry program that is free to download and use. Go to their website, www.geogebra.org, and you can either click to web start it or to download it. Once it's downloaded, you have this program on your computer. Let's start by adding some points. Let's add a point here at the origin. And suppose you want to prove the function for the area of a triangle. So let's start by constructing a triangle. To do so, we click on the polygon construction tool and we add our points. So I'll put one here, one here, one over here, and then click back on the original one. Now I've constructed a triangle. If you look over here on the left, it lists the free objects, which are the ones that we can move, and then the dependent objects, which are the lengths of the sides and the area of our triangle, polygon 1. So let's say we want to rename our sides. Let's edit properties of segment B, which was our bottom one down here. We can look just to make sure. And segment B is across the bottom. So let's change the name of it to base. And let's go ahead and change the color. But let's make it green. All right, and move that label down there. And then let's add a segment to be our height. So we want a segment between two points. We go from point B to point A. And so that gives us segment A here. It tells us it's segment A. So let's edit the properties of that. And segment A here. We'll rename that one our height. And let's make that one green as well. And I can use the recent color there. Close that. And I'll move that label over. All right, so now I have my two measurements. And I have what the computer is telling me that the area is. So let's check to see if the formula, the 1 half base times height, is correct for this. So down at the bottom here is an input bar where we can input functions in. So let's type in. 1 half times the base, which is the name of that segment, so it'll recognize that, times the height, and then just hit return, and it gives us our function that I just put in as A right here. And I can click on that, and it should tell me there's my formula for it. All right, and so right now, my formula matches with the computer's. Let's check it. We can move our objects along the line here. And as we do so, we can see that A and poly 1 stay the same. So our formula for the area of a triangle is correct. So now let's say that instead of having the students spend time creating this on their own, we want to have it created for them to check the formula themselves. The way we can do that is we can go to File, Export, and Dynamic Worksheet as a web page. All right, now we can input some information here, and when we export it, it's a file that we can link to a website. I'll cancel out of this, and here I have it linked to my Tech Tools page for GeoGebra. And on it, I've listed, this is the title part here that will let me choose, and a description. And I have my GeoGebra file here, looks the same, and I can actually move the objects on here, move the free objects. And I don't have the area calculated here, but the students can plug it in and check that the polygon formula is correct with their formula. So there are many different possibilities for incorporating this into a lesson. To a